So the whole point of this video is to hopefully make you a better competitor in whatever you do. For my sport, for my discipline, what I work out is CrossFit and weightlifting. And I'm 25 and I have a few years under my belt of competing at at least a decently high level. Um, and I hope with this video I can explain some things that I do personally that help my performance in regards to fueling, cooling down, and getting ready event to event. So in terms of CrossFit, um, the way I look at this is play-by-play, -play, scheduling, try to figuring out specifically when to eat, what to eat, and how to get my body primed and prepped for the next event. So for Metcon Rush, in one day, my partner and I will do four events. If we do well enough on the three, we'll make it to the fourth. I'm not saying we're going to, but that's what I'm planning to do. Uh, if everything goes well, we'll be in the fourth and final event, so that's what we're gearing up for. I just finished event two, getting ready for event three, trying to simulate the time intervals or frames of when we're working. So to keep in mind, there are probably two heats of male-male teams, two heats of female-female teams, and then two, possibly three heats of male and female individual elite athletes. So all in all, probably four, six, seven, probably seven or eight total heats. With each event, you take the time frame to complete each one, multiply it out, and now you have your two, two and a half, three hour windows. So in those two, two and a half, three hour windows, you wanna figure out what can your body consume? What kind of food can you put into it? How much? And when do you kind of taper back so you're not overeating right before your workout and you feel like you're bloated, you feel crappy, but at the same time too, you wanna to be able to eat early enough so everything's digested. So for me, I just finished event two about 15 minutes ago. I've been cooling down the bike now for about 12 minutes, just letting my body come back. Feeling pretty crappy, a little dizzy. I don't think I ate enough this morning, so I will mark down in my journal or in my phone that I need to eat more and eat a little bit sooner. I woke up a little bit later than I wanted to, but on competition day when I'm traveling, we're gonna be up pretty early, so I'll be able to sip on some carbs, drink a little bit of a protein shake, have some oatmeal with honey and blueberries, that sort of thing. But uh, right now, specifically for this video, recovery-wise. So event one was a clean ladder, finished that. The second I finished, even though it was, relatively speaking, low volume, but high intensity, high load, I still drank uh, a water bottle and a half, so about 24, 26 ounces of water. Uh, I had half a banana, I had a fuel for fire, and one large apple. And then that was like immediately after. So I wasn't that fatigued and crazy, but still, I needed to do carb load. I felt not super great for that event. And so I needed to refuel. I'm not big on eating protein while I'm in competition. I would pretty much eat mainly carbs and some fats, simply because this is what, for me personally, my body digests pretty well. Um, I will and should have brought more protein powder just to sip on throughout. I just ate two bites of chicken. It's not that much, but it's something easier to digest than say beef because it's not as fatty. And the reason for just the two bites is that's all I could currently stomach at the time, unfortunately. I had half of a banana, here's the other half. I can't eat a whole one at once, it's just too much on my stomach. So I ate one half right away and probably in the next 10 to 15 minutes, I'll eat the other half. And that's about a half hour out from when I'll warm up. So I finished that event at 2.20, it's 2.37 right now. I'll probably start getting warmed up again at 3.15 and I'll go again probably, if the body warms up quickly, I might, I might go a little sooner, but the hopes would be to go by four o'clock at the latest. But again, I just kind of see, see how long it takes my body to respond. I'll be sipping on some liquid carbs, first form's ultraformance. Uh, I'll be eating the other half of another apple. Might take in a couple more bites of a banana if I'm feeling good. Again, I said I'd probably eat the other half. I have some dried blueberries. I'll probably sprinkle in some of those. Maybe just drink some honey. And I'll be taking in a lot of water as it is quite hot and sweaty when I opened up the garage doors completely changed the whole environment of the gym. I made that workout way worse. Uh, it was a high intensity interval workout, three, three, four. Working minutes, one minute rest in between rounds, 21 cal row, seven bar muscle ups, max thrusters at 125, and the remaining time on the barbell. So we have a very, very long, probably 14, 15 minute workout. So to get enough fuel in, 
and have enough nutrition is vitally important. I think that's why a lot of people bomb out in competitions because whether it's the stress, the anxiety of competing, they don't eat and fuel well enough. Like you train super hard for months and months and months. Some people it's an entire year and then you get to the event and you don't do as well and it's mainly because you didn't fuel. You didn't put in the nutrition that your body absolutely needed to do what it's been doing, which is what you typically do during training. But this mindset of, oh man, I'm really nervous on comp day, I can't eat anything or I won't perform, you kinda, you gotta kinda train through that. I used to be exactly the same way. I would eat minimal to nothing. Um, and now, I'm probably consuming 1,500, closer to probably 16, 1,700 cows throughout an entire competition day. Now, granted, it might be more or less, I don't know, I'm just kinda speeding out my butt right now. But I'm eating way more than I used to, and as a result, I feel good, not great, but good at the end of a training day or at the end of a comp simulation or at the end of a competition. So when event four rolls around, I still have gas in the tank to do whatever needs to be done to get on the podium or get in the position or spot that I wanna be in, whether it's on top or top three. So that's just a quick tidbit there. Eat, fuel your body, make sure you're taking enough water, salt your food, salt everything, put salt in your water. You also need potassium. You can't just take in straight potassium because it'll dehydrate you more if you don't balance it out with enough salt and water. So, just a couple tidbits there about competing. I hope it's helpful. Hope you guys have a couple of good takeaways from that. Um, the last thing I would say is I would do no more, no solids within 30 minutes of your competition. Try to stick to liquids, or if you do solids, something that's easily digestible, quick in the system, like fruit. I wouldn't do like nuts or anything that like takes your body a good bit to digest. Again, keep it simple, keep it small. If you feel like you need more, keep going piece by piece. Don't just gorge yourself right before. I hope that's helpful. Uh, I got some more pulling down to do and some recovery. Thank you guys for watching. Peace, much love.